I'm Sai from Sayuni Cosplay at Pokemon Picnic 2012. I'm here with Hitomi, who just finished doing a marvelous performance for us. So I'm here to interview her and ask her a bit about cosplay and performing. So Hitomi, how did you feel about the performance you put on today? Um, I had fun. I had a fun and um, it's a nice day in the park. I love it. <laughs> so, do you get nervous anymore when you perform? No. Because I, I have been performing since I was little, since I was like really young, and then, uh, yeah, I have done a lot of performance, like bigger stage, so, yeah, probably not. <laughs> so, what would, what type of techniques do you use to get over your nervousness, just in case you ever get it? Um, so, a door. I'll just hug my girls. <laughs> <laughs> and like go to the bathroom <laughs> and uh, I don't know just do some warm up alright because we were some of our viewers like to perform as well and they're trying to get into it do you have any advice that you would give them and, um, first prepare yourself and second like do it professionally like no matter what kind of event that is and uh, you might you know it's like when you first started it's hard to get into big events but um, like no matter what kind of event that is you need to prepare and present yourself you want to you want to be always prepared and um, yeah be professional like uh, like if you like I remember once I was, I just finished one event and then there's another one event, like right follow it and I was sick because <laughs> of lack of sleep um, but I still do it. Uh, it might sound bad but uh, yeah, just be professional. Okay, so now for a bit of the cosplay aspect. What type of cosplays do you like to do? Um, hmm, I don't know, like uh, Mostly something that I like, like oh, I like this character, I like this personality, uh, or oh, I like the custom, then go for it. <laughs> <laughs> so you always have the go for it attitude, which was shown today in your performance when your music couldn't cut out, but you improvised and got right in with the song. So how do you feel about that? Has it happened before? Um, it's just something really normal, like because in the studio sometimes um, I need to slow down the dance for everybody so like sometimes they don't get it at first if we put on like fast music so I just slow it down like with my own voice sing everything <laughs> it just feels like I'm doing a rehearsal today <laughs> but it's okay though well was there any last remarks that you'd like to tell any of our fans huh? is there any remarks that you'd like to leave for our fans any advice at all do me. <laughs> oh, just any tips that you'd give anyone who likes to cosplay or who likes to perform? Um, actually, there's a lot of things to say because um, honestly, most of us, uh, it's like uh, teenagers and um, sometimes you have life, you have uh, economic, financial issues. Um, probably I think like uh, uh, if you want to be a cosplayer like make sure you get a job first <laughs> uh, well except if you're born in an extremely rich family and uh, if you want to be a performer then it's a lot harder you have to coordinate your life and uh, your job your school and then rehearsal and then communication and then your fans uh, it's it's really not easy but um, my manager is helping me uh, Jeffrey is, yeah, you probably know <laughs> uh, my manager is helping me and my friends is helping me and uh, yeah so for me everything everything goes well and I feel lucky it, it's tough but I still feel like very lucky and uh, I have a team writing music for me, like, including myself, <laughs> writing music and doing my own production. Um, but it takes a while, so maybe next year I will have 
four, five songs published, like release. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's all the time we have today. Thank you very much. You did a marvelous performance. Thank you. So, for all of you watching, like Sayuni on Facebook. We have our own web page. And we'll have a link for Hitomi. Just so, if you like her work, you can like her too. And see those five songs that she wants to have published. Later, everyone.